In this lesson, we'll be finding the surface area of prisms. And when you think surface area, I want you to think outside of the shape. So for example, with volume, if we were talking about maybe a present that we're wrapping, volume is what we can fit inside the box. Surface area is how much wrapping paper we would need to cover the outside of the box. When we're finding surface area, we look at all the sides of the shape. So there's the top, the front, left, the bottom, the back, and the right. So we are basically going to measure the area of all of the sides of this shape, and then we'll add that all together to find the total area of the outside of the shape. So if we look at this cube right here, we want to find the surface area of this cube. And so area is just represented with the A's in this case. There's not an actual number here, but we'd want to add up all the different sides. So if you look at the net on the right, a net is like an unfolded shape. This is all of the sides of the shape, and this is what you're going to have to visualize when you're finding surface area, is all the separate sides that you're then going to add together the area of each individual side to get the surface area. So in this case, if we count them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six sides. So the surface area of this shape would be six A squared. So fifth graders, let's pretend that A is five. So when we have a cube, all sides are the same. So if we were going to find the area of just one side, we would be doing 5 times 5 or 5 times 5 over here, either way. So each square, if we do 5 times 5, is going to have an area of 25. So since this is a cube, and this only works for a cube where all squares are going to have the same area, we would put the area in each square for each side. And then you could either do 25 times 6, or you could add 25 6 times. And that's going to give you the total surface area of this cube. So this picture kind of shows you what you might see a picture like this on your MCA or your map test. So basically, this is a rectangular prism. And down here is its net. And we spell that N-E-T. And a net is just an unfolded version of a 3D figure. So you can kind of picture now, since it's flat, finding the area of each side. We can see that 3 and 5 are the same type of shape. So if when we found the area for 3, that would be the same as 5. And then we've got 4 and 6. Those two are going to have the same area. And then we've got 2 and 1. So essentially, if you find the area for 3, you can just double it because you have one that's like it. If you find the area for 4, you can just double it. And if you find the area for 1, you could just double it. And you just add them all together, and that would give you your total surface area. Here's another picture of a triangular prism and its net when it's unfolded. So in this case, you'd be finding the area of the shape or the side 2, and you could triple it because 2, 3, and 5 are all the same type of shape. And then on the sides, you've got a triangle. So for area of triangle, you would have to do base time height divided by 2. And whatever you get for this side, you could just double it because it's the same on this side. And then, like Ms. Cater said, add them all up to get the surface area. So let's find the surface area of this net right here. We can tell this is a rectangular prism. And if we were to cut this out and fold it into a shape, it would be a rectangular prism. So now we're going to count the area of each one of the sides. So let's start at the top. The area of that, we've got a, a base of 4 and a height of 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. Or you could simply just count the squares as well. That would work. Now we can see that this next shape just below it, this next rectangle is exactly the same as is the one below it and the one below it. These are all 8. So it's actually pretty simple. Now each side is 4. and they, These could also serve as bases too. It doesn't really matter. But we could count these or we could just say 2 times 2 is 4. Now to find the total surface area, we're just going to add this up. So 8 times 4 is 32. And 4 times, or 4 plus 4, excuse me, is 8. So 32 plus 8 is 40. So the surface area of this triangular prism is 40 centimeters squared. And we're going to write it with the squared because we are finding a sort of area, just the surface area. So we're talking about how many cubes or how many centimeter cubes are on the surface of this rectangular prism. And so it's 40 centimeters squared. 
Sometimes fifth graders, you're going to see, um, you're not going to see a net form. You're just going to see a rectangular prism already all put together. So in this case, you're going to kind of have to picture which what each side would have. So looking at the front here, if we start on the front, we have a base of four and we have a height of five because this over here tells us the height. So four times five would tell us that the front sh shape of this is 20 centimeters. Now what we can do is we know that the front is exactly the same as the back. So we can add another 20 and now we've got, we can even give ourselves some letters to remind us of what we've done. We've got the front figured out and we've got the back figured out. Now let's go to the right side. We've got a base of three and we've got a height of five. Three times five is 15. So we've got 15 on the right side and we can, we're going to have the same on the left side, so we can put another 15. We have 15 on the left side. All we have left to do is the top and the bottom of this figure. I'm going to put B-O so we can differentiate between back and bottom. So looking at the top, we have a base of 4 and a height or a width of 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. If the top is 12, then the bottom is going to be 12. And then we're just going to add all of those sides up to tell us what the surface area or the outside of this rectangular prism is going to be. So let's see, 20 and 20 is 40, 15 and 15 is 30, 12 and 12 is 24, and I can add these. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 2 more is 9. So our answer would be 94 centimeters squared. As Ms. Cater said, we are finding surface area, and when we are finding area, we're labeling with that squared. There is a quick trick, kind of like this, except it's a little bit quicker when it comes to figuring out the areas of each side. So what you can do is you can take your three numbers that it gives you, 11, 5, and 6, and what I do is I just set one up top, one down here, kind of in like a triangle kind of formation. So we've got 11, 5, and 6. So what I do is I just go around the triangle multiplying the numbers. So I'm going to start up here. 11 times 6 is 66. So we know that's going to be the area for one of the sides over here. If it's the area for one side, we're going to have to say it's the same area for another side. So there's going to be two sides that have an area of 66. I'm going to continue around the triangle. 6 times 5 is 30. So if one side is 30, we know we're going to have to duplicate that for the other side. And lastly, we finish off the triangle. 11 times 5 is 55. And if one side is 55, another side is going to be 55. And then we just, like always, like all the other ones, we're going to add up all of those sides. So 6 plus 6 is 12. 5 plus 5 is 10. 12 plus 10 is 22. And we've got 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 more is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 plus 10 more here would be 30. So this rectangular prism has a fairly large surface area, and that would be 302 centimeters. And again, we're finding area, so we would put the squared. Now, fifth graders, don't forget that Finding surface area is different from volume. Remember, if we're going back to our volume video, we're doing length times width times height. So just a tip, because you are going to have a question like this on your homework where you're expected to find the surface area and the volume. Let's look and see what the volume would be for this shape. So we would do 11 times 5 times 6. So 11 times 5 is 55. And 55 times 6 would be... Setting up my lattice, 5 times 6 is 30, and 5 times 6 is 30, and we add our diagonals, we've got 0, 3, and 3. So the volume for this shape would be 330 centimeters, and for volume we're dealing with 3D, so we would make sure we have that cubed. So don't confuse surface area and volume. When it's asking you to find surface area, we're finding the area of all six surfaces on this rectangular prism. Whereas for volume, we're just multiplying the length and the width and the height. So homework question number one, you need to find the surface area of this net. You can choose how you do this if you want to just count the squares 
or if you would rather find the individual area of each shape and add them up. Either way is just fine. Make sure you're recording your homework in your notebook and showing your work, as well as recording your homework on the matching Google form. Homework question two, you need to find the surface area of this rectangular prism. Don't forget you need to find the area of each side and then add them all together. If you would like to use the quick trick I taught you, make sure to go back and figure out, make sure you know how to do the trick and then you can use the trick also to solve this. Now here's another one we would like you to find the surface area of and if you're not sure what to do, you need to rewind the video and go back so that you can refresh your memory on how to find surface area. So the sides here are 6, 6, and 3. Make sure you're recording your homework in your notebook and on the Google form. Last homework question for today has two parts. You need to find the surface area and the volume of this rectangular prism. Remember they're very different. Surface area is the area of the outside. The volume is how much goes inside. Have a nice night and we will see you tomorrow.